With the rapid spread of COVID-19, the vulnerabilities in our own healthcare system are certainly being discussed. And unfortunately, there are people who think, no, no, nothing to see here, everything is fine. In fact, part-time workers who have no access to healthcare shouldn't be complaining, the system is totally fine. Case in point, you have the TSA administrator who does not offer health insurance for part-time TSA agents who deal with people traveling throughout the world on a daily basis. And this is what we've learned through recent statements from the TSA administrator. I have no intention of restoring healthcare coverage for part-time workers. I think that was a good decision. We will certainly take care of our employees to the best of our ability, and we provide robust guidance to our entire workforce with respect to how they prevent the disease in the first place. He also apparently said that the healthcare determination is quote, constant with practice throughout government and also in the private sector. That if you're a part-time employee, you are not eligible for full-time healthcare benefits. And noted Congress did not supply funds for such payments and legislation it sent to the White House. So what he's referring to there is the $8 billion that Congress has allocated for the COVID-19 response. Now here's the thing, for all of you establishment Democrats out there who fear mongered about Medicare for all and how people will lose their employer issued health care, what's your response to this? Because healthcare should not be attached to where you work, period. You should be able to have healthcare coverage regardless of where you work, whether you work, kind of get the picture? Especially when these types of pandemics arise. And by the way, the World Health Organization has referred to COVID-19 as a pandemic. So first of all, when you need healthcare, what is really helpful is when somebody like this instead gives you robust guidance. Mm, yeah. Oh Man, I really appreciate it. I don't know if I've got COVID-19, but on the upside, I've got robust guidance. I really wish we had a candidate who was running on a, a strong platform of robust guidance. Well, actually, there are a couple of candidates running on that, that alone, because they ain't gonna give you anything else. So number two, he's actually right. So they're part-time workers, they don't get health care because of that. And Congress did not give money for that. Which leads to point number three, that's why we should have Medicare for all. Like It's insane, Oh, you might have COVID-19 and it might endanger your life and the life of your family members. But hey, you don't have private insurance, so go ahead and die. It's just like I've told you with the fire departments. In the old days, there was private fire departments. Oh, you're, you and your families might be burning to death, but you don't have private fire insurance. So they would let people burn to death. And here we are, we got a worldwide pandemic. And the US government is saying, well, I don't care if you die. I'm giving you robust guidance, but I'm not giving you insurance. And if you don't have insurance in this country, go ahead and die. And let's talk about the lucky individuals who do have coverage, who are full-time employees and they do have coverage. I had a conversation with someone today who just wanted to be safe and went out of her way to get testing for COVID-19. And she said that her health insurance company doesn't cover the test. No, a lot of them don't. Exactly, so we have a broken healthcare system, okay? Which is why we have, we are so behind in being prepared to deal with pandemics. And if you compare where we are to where other countries are in their preparedness for COVID-19, we're far behind. I'll give you some of those numbers in just a second. But first, I also wanna note that there have been TSA agents at risk of contracting this virus because of the nature of their work. So the TSA has actually put on leave under 100 officers who had identified as coming in contact with one of three officers who tested positive for COVID-19 at the San Jose, California airport. Those workers will be paid luckily for the duration of a 14 day isolation period. Are they not merciful? But they should also have health coverage that actually covers what they need in response to this virus. So we recently read a story about two women who are identical twins. They both wind up getting breast cancer because it runs in their family. One lives in the UK, the other one lives in the US. They, The reporter who's from the United States asked the one in the UK, so how many bills did you have to pay? She's like, none, what do you mean? No, there are no bills. You ask the woman who's her twin in, in that lives in America, and she's 
six different bills from six different places, etc. Okay, but the one in the UK, how much paperwork did you have to fill out? None, it's free, there is no paperwork. So to Americans, that's jarring to us. You mean people just get health coverage? They could just go to the doctor and hospital and be treated for serious illnesses that they have? I know, Jank, but if we had that system, then I'd have to give up my private insurance. <laughs> Where I'd have to fill out forms, pay copays, premiums, deductibles, and have it bankrupt me, and half the time deny me coverage. Oh, golly gee, I wouldn't want to give up that system. On the other hand, though, the UK system is far less expensive. Oops. Anyway, if Biden's the president, we're going to beat him up on that for four straight years. So take your bottom dollar on that. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.